Welcome Watchers of Illusion to my Castle of Confusion, it's the 10th of January. I'm looking at Coco Banana on the Commodore Amiga. Um, I think I'm going to have to play around my settings because I think it's too bright. I need to turn my contrast down a little bit, I think. Um, but anyway, that's something I will do at another time. But look, we're playing as this alligator thing. I believe that is Coco Banana. Yes. You can see the setup here. Um, we're going to we're going to run it on the ECS chip. So all sorted. Nothing spanky or suave. We're just going with the ECS chip, you know. Um, so here we are. Nice big sprites. We like that. That's that's a good start. Very Mario esque uh, with that bad guy there, a little turtle with the little spines. Very very reminiscent of uh, Mario. But uh, I like that because inspiration's good. Was it uh, imitation is the best form of flattery or something? I think it's around that anyway. Anyway, very nice, smooth scrolling. Uh, it's not a continual scrolling game, however. It's more of a sort of a one screen or two screen affair. Uh, but it does scroll very nicely and very smoothly. The animations on the main character are very nice as well. I like the fact we've got a big sprite to play with, um, which is great. Um, Lots of different mob types as well. So we've got bees, we've got uh, spiky dudes, and uh, I'm sure we're going to find much, much more. So we'll look at the UI and, and see what we've got to see here. Uh, we have got a uh, life counter in the bottom left. Underneath that life counter, you have five hearts. That is how many hits you can take uh, before you lose one of your precious lives. Oh, you've got this dinosaur guy here that's running around. Now, I don't know whether or not... Oh, God. Right, okay. Um, I'm just going to mention briefly that if you've got a, uh, a CD32 pad or a two-button joystick, it's probably worth using up as jump. I'm, uh, I'm struggling at the moment with my second jump. My second fire button is not being very responsive. In fact, it's got a little bit of input lag. Um, so I don't know. But up seems to do the trick... So I'm going to stick with up as jump. I know I really dislike it, but it's working. I like it. I like it in this game. It works very, very, very nicely. So we'll continue with it. We'll stick with it. Yes. Um, so you can see there, you can get pick up extra hearts, which will give you your hearts back. You don't. Oh. You don't want to get hit too many times. I'm guessing certain enemy types will reduce your hearts quicker than others. Um, I think things like standard enemies maybe take one hit point off you, um, but others will maybe take two or three off you at a time. But we'll figure that out as we go, because why not? Also in the UI, you've got uh, you've got your uh, fireball, and you've got your extend. As you go around, you can pick up the uh, extend um, letters, and I'm guessing that will give you an extra life. In the bottom right panel, you can see your current score and what world tier we're on. So we're on world one, world one, screen four, or level four, whichever you want to say. But uh, yes, it works really, really nicely. Uh, so it's got element of platform here, which is great. Really nice scrolling as well, very smooth. Like it a lot, actually. Um, now, obviously, this game is going to appeal to a great number of age groups, uh, mainly because it's so damn cute. It's going to appeal to younger players. But we'll come on to that uh, in a little while. The uh, controls are nice, uh, although, like I said, I, I, I didn't mind just be my uh, joystick. But the second fire button is a little bit, um, a bit, a little bit late when pushing it to jump. So I'm just going to use up. It does seem a lot more responsive, so we will stick with that. Um, but yeah, it's really nice. It's very nice scrolling. The uh, the main character designs are beautiful. And uh, some varied mobs as well. And the levels are laid out nicely as well. So it's not overly frustrating, which is nice. I, the games that frustrate you are just annoying. Um, the enemy mobs do respawn, so just be aware of that when you're going through your levels. Because you really don't want to have a, a, a enemy spawning on you in the middle of nowhere. So... Um, all in all, I'm actually quite impressed with this so far. Uh, the control system is nice. It's uh, up, down. Well, up, anyway for jump, uh, left and right, and then fire, which uh, will spit out one of your fireballs, and it doesn't seem to be, um, it doesn't seem to be any fuel or anything that you need to collect, it's, uh, I think it's got a delay on it, so you can't just com completely, can't sort of repeatedly fire fireballs out of your gob, um, 
but it works and it works really well so lots of hazards there I think spikes I'm guessing will be an insta death if you fall in them because uh, there's absolutely no way out of that pit anyway so um, I think it's optional to pick up all of the stuff in the screen you don't have to pick up everything I think you need to definitely pick up the keys because uh, otherwise you're blocked you can't actually do anything how many hits does this guy take? Three hits he takes. So make sure you've got enough space between you and him to be able to execute three fireballs. And oh, here we go. Piranhas. Look, it is very Mario-esque, isn't it? But I like it. Inspiration. Inspiration is lovely. There we are. Um, but I like this. It's it's good fun. That piranha just one-shotted me because he bit me in the bottom. That's not very nice, is it? Um so obviously some mobs are going to be, um, some enemy types are going to one shot you, so be careful of that. Uh, timing in this game is everything. Let's try and get that E, there you go, you can see it's just, uh, we've got E, X, T, E now. So we've almost filled out our uh, extend bar, which is lovely. Um, I don't know how many, how many uh, screens there are until you get to World 2, uh, but I know there's a password system which will help in the uh, long run of the game although I don't know when you actually get your password I guess if you clear uh, level one completely then you'll get your password make sure you jot those down go away right so um yeah I like it so graphically and control wise absolutely spot on the sound and music's great you can have both at the same time which is obviously even better uh, you know some games only have one or the other sometimes enemy types can be a little bit OTT. I mean, you get too, like, too many to deal with at once. Like this guy. Oh, okay. If we hold down the fire button, you uh, do a bigger fireball, apparently. That's nice. I like that. Um, so we're going... Oh, God. It's when you get two at a time. That's, that's where the real trouble starts. But, uh, yeah, music and sound. It's great. You get both at the same time. Uh, you get a jolly little tune as you go through it. And, obviously, you have the sound effects as well. I'm not sure how that B hit me then. It was underneath me, but there you go. Never mind. Never mind. So uh, this was released in 2019. So I'm a bit late off the mark with this, but you know what? We're playing games from all generations, and, uh, well, this one just happened to be one of my sort of to-do lists. So there you go. Thought we'd have a look at Coco Banana today. Um, I hope you guys are having a good week so far. I can't believe that we're pushing into Thursday already. Where's the week gone? It's bizarre. This year, it better not go as quickly as last year. I mean, last year's flew past. Um, I don't even know why time is moving so fast at the moment. But, you know, some people say, oh, it's getting slowly, but it's like, it really isn't. Um, I don't even know. 2020, probably from 2020 to now, it just seems to have gone. So there we are. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying your new year. And I hope it's treating you well to start with. Um... So yeah, that's I mean the game the game is fantastic stuff. Uh oh bloody hell, that just knocked off three hearts in one go. There's two more there, that's good. And oh my bloody god, there so that's not good, is it? Oh, I'm gonna die now. <laughs> I can't get out of there. Right. Um so playability wise, it's absolutely on the money. It's like a little arcade game, which is great. Um, and it will keep you all entertained for many, many hours. And I think you will enjoy playing. If you're a platform fan, you're going to lap this up anyway. And if you're not a platform fan, give it a go anyway. Because it's, it's actually really nicely put together. It's actually a fun game as well. So, there you go. Come and have a go at Coco Banana. Um, I love the mob designs. And there's some really nice ones. So, you've got to basically... There's some here that we've got to time. We've got to obviously make sure we don't get hit by that fireball. Uh, because that's going to hurt, isn't it? So we've got to get over that. Um, I like I like these sort of collect em ups. It reminds me a bit of Zool and and Mario and Adventure Island, all that kind of stuff, all rolled into one. And um, it's it's been a very pleasant experience to play. So I'm going to recommend Coco Banana, and I'm going to say that replay value is also there because it's getting a little bit tricky now. So obviously with the difficulty level. It's got a nice learning curve to it. I wouldn't say it's easy, but uh, it's it's not too... Oh, God. There you go. See, a missed time, and uh, you're going to get your ass handed to you. So do not 
underestimate the oh no. one hit do not underestimate this game at all it might look friendly and fun um but let's go it does get harder as you can see so there's a lot more things you need to do like timing your jumps and all that kind of stuff make sure that you uh take stock of what's going on on the screen at any time so um age rating pretty much any you can start off because obviously the, the big cartoony graphics are going to appeal to youngsters the difficulty level of the game is going to appeal to those that want a bit of a challenge so you know there is something here for everybody and i think that everybody's going to like enjoy having a little bit of a go at this even if you don't get on with it at least you can say you've played coco banana and why wouldn't you it's a great game and it's a lot of fun so pick up your copy. I will put a, a download description in the link for you. Let's let's try that again. I'll put a link in the description for you, and you can go and pick up this yourself. Um, it is free or donation based, so if you fancy dropping a couple of quid, you can. If you want to have a go for free, you can. If you play for free and find that you enjoy it, go back and uh, drop some pennies in the developer's coin purse. You know, so um, always support. Anyway. I'm going to leave it there, folks, and I will be back very soon with something else. Uh, it's probably going to be Amiga-based again, because we're having a bit of a roll on this. Uh, we've had C64 week. Well, will we make this into, into Amiga week, so we can get coming up next. But we've got plenty of stuff to come, so I uh, hope you're enjoying 2024. The reviews are churning out of the, uh, the office, which is great. Hope you're enjoying them, and thanks very much for joining me on this escapade with Coco Banana. And I just like saying Coco Banana because it's a funny title for a game. It's great. So there we are. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you go and play it. Go and support the devs because, well, why wouldn't you? So I will catch you again very soon. You keep it retro. And until next time, everybody, as per normal, it is bye for now. Ta-da then. <laughs>